Demo 9.10 Review Financials and Inventory Manufactured Goods Scenario In this demo, we will review financial and inventory values for the manufactured goods scenario. In the stock menu, select Transaction MB52 Warehouse Stock. Enter the master data in the Material Plant and Storage Location fields. Next, click the Execute icon. The system displays the stock balance for the specified search criteria. Click the back icon to return to the previous screen. Next, change the plant to Dallas. Then, click the Execute icon to continue. The system displays the stock at the Dallas plant. Click the back icon to return to the previous screen. Change the material to the Touring Aluminum Wheel Assembly, TRWA-1000, and the storage location to Semi-Finished Goods, SF-00. Then click the Execute icon. The system displays the stock balance for the Dallas plant. Click the back icon to return to the previous screen. Finally, we will review the balance of raw materials in the warehouse. Enter star 000 to display all materials that end with our unique identifier. Also change the storage location to Raw Materials, RM00, and then click the Execute icon. The system displays a list of all the raw materials used to produce bicycles. Currently, there are no raw materials in stock. Click the back icon twice to return to the SAP Easy Access menu. We will now view the stock in the storage bin in the San Diego plant. In the display menu, select Transaction LX03, Bin Status Report. Enter the warehouse number, storage type, and storage bin. Then click the Execute icon to continue. The system displays a list of storage bins. Double-click on the storage bin number. In the Display Storage Bin screen, we will see the stock balance within the storage bin. Click the back icon three times to return to the SAP Easy Access menu. We will next view the balance of our inventory accounts. In the Account menu, select Transaction FAGLB03, Display Balances, New. Enter the account number, company code, and fiscal year. Next, click the Execute icon. The system displays the balance of the account. Double-click the debit balance. The system displays the documents that were debited to this account to create the balance. Click the back icon to return to the balance display. Double-click the credit balance. The system displays the documents posted to this account that create the balance. Click the back icon twice to return to the initial screen. Next, we will view the semi-finished goods account balance. Enter the proper account number and click the Execute icon. Unlike the previous account, the semi-finished goods account has only a debit balance. Double-click on the debit balance to view the line items. The system displays the documents posted to this account. Click the back icon twice to return to the initial screen. Finally, we will review the raw materials account balance. Enter the proper account number and click the Execute icon. The system displays a message stating there is no data. The absence of data reflects the fact that we have no raw materials. Click the Enter icon to return to the initial screen. Finally, we will review the balance of the customer account in the account menu. Select Transaction FD10N, Display Balances. Enter the customer, company code, and fiscal year. Next, click the Execute icon. In this case, we will use Rocky Mountain Bikes. 
the system displays the account balance. Double-click the debit balance to view the line items. The system displays the documents that were posted. Click the back icon to return to the previous screen. Next, double-click the credit balance to display the line items posted there. The system shows the documents that were credited to this account. Note, to view a document, select it and click the Display Document icon. Demo 9.10 Review Financials and Inventory Manufactured Goods Scenario